Building the community of choice in Tampa Bay is all about serving you. It's about what we do and why we do it. So what's Largo been up to lately? Let's check out a few of the highlights. Largo is leading the charge on being sustainable for future generations and is proud to offer electric vehicle charging stations throughout the community, including at the Largo Public Library, downtown, and at Largo City Hall. And they are free for the public. So the city of Largo just installed their first three electric vehicle charging stations. They are free of cost thanks to our partnership with Duke Energy. It is a wonderful incentive to the community to make it easier for them to one, have electric vehicles and to charge those vehicles. Speaking of hitting the streets, Largo decided it was time to bring the library out into the community with a brand new bookmobile. The Largo bookmobile is wonderful for the community because we get to bring um, our excellent programming and resources out to the greater Largo community. For instance, assisted living facilities, recreation centers, community centers, and after school programming. The bookmobile is just a sample of what the Largo Public Library offers all year long, so please come visit us. We hope to enhance your experience here in Largo through exceptional and creative educational services. And when you're finished here, you're just a short walk from the Central Park Performing Arts Center and beautiful Largo Central Park, which hosts awesome events annually, such as the 4th of July celebration, the new North Pole Express, and holiday lights. Largo is also working on initiatives to help residents take pride in their neighborhoods and our community. Last year, we launched a new grant matching program that resulted in new fences and other beautification projects, installed more streetlights and sidewalks, and connected 4th Avenue Northwest to the Pinellas Trail. Sidewalks really connect the neighbors and people to their surrounding area so that residents of all ages get out more and walk more and, and use their feet and bikes rather than cars. Other ways Largo is encouraging community pride is helping more kids go to summer camp and launching a new community ambassador program. One of the things that we're doing to help more children come to camp is offer a, an annual youth scholarship fund. It's called Every Child Deserves to Go to Camp. The feedback that we get from parents is that their kids are having a lot of fun, they're making a lot of new friends, and we're actually changing lives. We know that you value being part of a community that focuses on public health and safety. Innovative solutions are being implemented to provide better senior services and mental health support in Largo. So one of the new things that we're doing this year uh, from our Senior Services Division is employing uh, the program called Safety Net. Essentially it's a program that recovers our vulnerable citizens uh, that at times may become disoriented or confused. Uh, they may wander from home. Another thing that we're doing is uh, Largo PD has created a new position called um, basically it's called the mental health liaison position where law enforcement is teaming up with a mental health professional and we're responding to uh, the community. The people that we're helping, not only are we getting them the services that they need, but the family members are incredibly appreciative and grateful that um, there's someone else, there's someone on their side. These are only the highlights and there's more on the horizon. Largo is also working with private partnerships to continue developing downtown, including the downtown plaza enhancement as well as working to create an ongoing partnership with the Pinellas County Extension Office to offer free environmentally focused workshops to the community. And Largo plans to replace three fire stations in the next 10 years. To learn more, visit us at largo.com connect to see how Largo is working hard to be your community of choice naturally. <laughs>